How's it going? Today we're going to be playing some more Spongebob Squarepants Employee of the Month. I think this is going to be the last video. It's been a very, very long series of uh, one episode. Oh my god, Patrick, I can see straight through your mouth. What? Who are you? What? I'm ready! Uh, okay, we're playing darts. God, look how good I am. That's a great idea! Let's get over there and ask her! What? Ask who? Oh, okay, we have a new person walking in. Hello. Wait, what, why is there a picture of Sandy on that bag? Hey, don't touch that. It doesn't belong to you. Yeah, clearly. Okay, I'm gonna take Sandy's lunch to her. And we get to go to Jellyfish Fields. How nice. What you doing, Sandy? Why is she just standing there? That's not how you catch jellyfish. I'll go get working on that rocket. Rocket? What are you talking about, rocket? Oh, we get to go home. Yes, finally, home. Why am I here? What? What is this? Where did the snake come from? You like this battle music when we walk up. Okay, so we need that helmet for Sandy's rocket, but there's a snake in it. Why is there a snake in my helmet? I don't understand this. Wait, I'm thinking of a different game. Oh, Jesus. I'm thinking of the other SpongeBob game. We haven't been here yet. Where did we start? Oh, we started at the Krusty Krab. Come on down to sardines. <laughs> what is this? Sniff this. Sniff what? Okay, I didn't know there were uh, stoners in Bikini Bottom, but I guess there are. Oh, uh... Hi, Squidward. Don't mean to intrude. He's sleeping like a log. Oh my god. What? Why is he sleeping with his clarinet? Okay, we gotta go buy some dream glasses and enter Squidward's dream, I'm assuming, because he's sleeping. I mean your journey through life. How has that been treating you? Uh, good, I, I guess. This guy's weird. Money? You insult me. We don't even accept money. Oh, okay, that's great. I mean, I don't know how you're still in business if you don't accept money. Like, how do you pay your bills? Okay, wait, did I get the glasses? How do I get the dream glasses? I think there's only one pair left. It's at the other end of the store. Oh, okay, he tells me. This guy again. Okay, you know what? It's fine. I'm definitely being stalked by this dude. He's watched the show. Okay, let's go break into uh, Squidward's dreams. This seems like a invasion of privacy, but it's fine. Okay, put those cool shades on. Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god, what is this? Oh my god, what is that? Okay, this is cursed. Oh my god, what is this? This is just, I'm telling you, this game is just a wild fever dream. This is literally what I see when I'm on the verge of death. Oh, hello, Squidward. You stay here and dance. Dance like you've never danced before. Okay, we're telling Squidward to dance. Okay, he gave me his clarinet and now he's dancing. I don't understand why. It wouldn't it have been easier to just take the clarinet out of his hand while he's sleeping? Probably. We did the hard way, but it worked, I guess. Okay, water snake. I want you to leave, so I will serenade you. Don't even know why you're in here. Okay, I got it. And now we can go to Sandy's house. Yay, Sandy. Oh my god, Sandy, what are you doing? She's just tea posing here. Is this what she does all day? I know they're somewhere in my dome. I just don't know where. Wait, this is what she was looking for? It was literally just over on the other side of her thing. If she didn't spend all her time tea posing on the other side of her dome or whatever this is, then she would have found it. Sandy, I found the oxygen tanks. It was literally just on the other side of your dome. Okay, we're going to Neptune's Paradise. We're taking a rocket. I set a new record down at the diner for the most sandwiches ever eaten. Okay, that's nice, Patrick. Can you not stand on the hose? What is he doing? Great. He broke the hose. Oh my god, what is up with Patrick's face? Look at his thumb. Are we there yet? I have to go to the bathroom. Are we there yet? I have to go to the bathroom. What is happening? Are we there yet? I have to go to the bathroom. They just keep repeating this over and over again. Okay, we're out of fuel because, well, Patrick ruined our hose. <laughs> oh my god, we just crashed. Yet. Yeah, I think we are. Patrick looks really bored, despite just crashing. Oh my god, Patrick, put your shirt down. Oh, okay, we fixed the billboard. Sublime Seafoods, call now, 555-4444. Wow, what a creative phone number. Unfortunately, you don't seem to meet our dress code. We require jackets, you see. What? What do you mean you require jackets? Well, yes, they are, but before they are allowed to change into swimsuits, they must be wearing jackets. Wait. What? Why? Just don't think about it too much. Okay, I won't. I won't think about it too much. Okay, he won't let me in because I don't have a jacket. Another meanwhile, what are we gonna see? What? Who are these people? Okay, I don't. I don't know what that was. I don't know why it showed me that. Okay, Sandy gave me a, a pointer. We gotta go to Waverly Hills. Oh my God, this is fancy. 
Oh, what? I just dropped a coconut. <coughs> what? Oh my god, why is the coconut screaming at me? Okay, whatever. We got a coconut. Uh, why? Okay, um... I used the water pump. I've learned that in order to get anything done in this game, you just have to kind of interact with everything. Oh, what? What is what is going on? Okay, now I can get through this gate because I need to be at a, a certain weight. Yep, there we go. Why do you have to be a certain weight in order to get into this place? My God, this is the tackiest house I've ever seen. Yeah, gold, and it's all mine, you hear? You can't have it. I don't want it. Your house is hideous. Oh, uh... Hi. Apologies for walking into your house. What? What is this? Oh, what the hell? His floorboards are falling apart. Okay, we can swap this out with a normal coconut. Good thing I picked it up. Where did this room even come from? Like, it's just a tiny shack. His house is literally just a square. Look, where the- where is the room? You know what? It doesn't matter. Okay, dude, I got your golden coconut back. My golden coconuts. Yeah, I know, I got it back. Thank you so much, strange square thing. Strange square thing? This is how much he pays me for giving him his golden coconut back. He gave me a quarter. Okay, but SpongeBob still dances for a quarter. Okay, I think I can call this number because I got a quarter. Okay, put the quarter in there. We just call five 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 four 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 four. The view is breathtaking, I assure you, madame. Madame? What? Okay, we got a new location. Sublime Seafoods. Okay, let's go to Sublime Seafoods. Oh my god, what is that? Hello, eyes? Nobody gets up these stairs without an invitation. Okay. Sublime Seafoods is having a party this evening to celebrate the unveiling of their new slogan. Sorry, it's by invitation only. Why is the toll such a dick? Don't make me come out there. They don't call me the bouncer for nothing. I would like to see you come out here. Okay! That does it! I'm coming out! Okay, he's coming out. Wait, you're the bouncer? You're the bouncer? Even Spongebob's asking him this. No invitation, no entrance, simple. How do I get an invitation? Sublime Seafoods is having a party tonight, and they gave me an invitation to give out to one lucky winner. Oh. How nice. You have to tell me what Sublime Seafood's new slogan is. Wait, I need to know the slogan? The guy wouldn't tell me the slogan, though. Okay, I had to find out the slogan to get an invitation. Sublime Seafood tastes like chicken. Wait. That's the slogan? Tastes like chicken? How do they even know what chicken is? I don't know. Maybe they have, like, sea chickens or something. What's- what are the chickens of the sea? I don't know. You win! Yay, I win! I- I don't get the slogan, but I know it now, I- I guess. Alright, guess what, dickhead? I have an invitation. Excellent! This is all in order! Enjoy yourself! I will, I- I think. I don't know. I'm just here for a jacket. I'm not even here to eat chicken. I'm assuming they have chicken. Or do they have stuff that just tastes like chicken? Maybe that's more what it is. Maybe they don't have chicken. Because how would they get chicken underwater? I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. Oh my god, this place is, uh, fancy. I see you did not bring a jacket. Oh no. Let's get one from Lisa, our cold check girl. Oh, okay, she gives me a jacket. Why do I have to have a jacket to eat here? Please don't forget to return it when you are done eating. I will forget to return it because I need it for the spa. Oh my god, Spongebob, what is wrong with you? I think it's a little bit tight. Okay, uh, this is my table up here. Spongebob, are you even dressed? Is this what he looks like naked? He's just completely invisible underneath. I'm the vinaigrette. He's aged 400 years in oak barrels from the Titanic. Oh, okay, we're getting stuff from the Titanic. That's nice. What can I get you? I'll have a Krabby Patty. What? Krabby Patty? Uh, okay, that offended him. I shall remove you myself. What? I think we're being kicked out. Oh my god, what is he doing to him? Okay, well, we were kicked out of the restaurant and probably got a ban, and we're also assaulted by that, uh, lobster. But I got my jacket. That's all that matters. Well... I think I have a jacket. I don't know. It doesn't look like it. You have a jacket as well. Yeah, I, I think so. Wait, how did Patrick get in here? Wait, this guy again? Oh my god. This guy's literally stalking me. Wait, okay, there's a 
another one of him. Wait, are those Patrick's pants? Why did that guy have Patrick's pants? That was my twin brother, Petro. What? Is that your other twin? How many twin brothers do you have? Including Petro and Ryan? Yes. 4,132. Oh, that's, uh, interesting. Your poor mother. Okay, well, I'll take Patrick's pants. I... Why, why did that guy have Patrick's pants? I don't know. Here, Patrick, I have your pants. Okay, Patrick's all dressed now. You didn't peek, did you? Uh, no, I definitely didn't, Patrick. Okay, finally, we can leave. Time for the best part of the game with the cutscenes. Okay, we're flying away. We made it to Neptune's paradise, wow. Park's closed. Oh my god. After all this time, we can't even get in. This week, we're having a private party for somebody- Oh my god, Patrick's really unhappy. Surprise! What? It was just a prank? Imagine how awkward it would have been when everyone showed up ready to prank Spongebob and they had to wait, like, the whole day for him to actually show up. What the hell is Patrick doing? Okay, and, uh, that's the end of- SpongeBob SquarePants, the employee of the month. We made it to Neptune's paradise. There's not even any music at the end. It's just like sea noises. This game is quite strange. This is a really, this game is like a wild fever dream. It's insane. I could play more SpongeBob games if you want to see that. I don't think that the other ones are as good as this one because the other ones are more like parkour kind of games like that. You know, it's not these like cursed story games games like this one in the movie the game wait what is this the menu okay we're we're back here yeah i mean i i could play more if you if you want to see that but i don't know i don't think they'll be nearly as fun as this one but who knows but yeah i'm gonna go